What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Shout out to everybody in the audience that is still dieting in December. The majority of weight gain for individuals happens in these colder months, man. The sun ain't shining as often. It's a little more chilly. You're not going to the beach, so why stay slim? But like I always say, if we do the work now, although I wouldn't call this what we're doing work, this is easy. But if we take the time to make our own food and cook now, then when January comes, we're good, baby. Cause think about it. Your friends are gonna be messaging you on Facebook or Instagram asking you what your diet secrets are. And then you get the satisfaction of going, it ain't a diet, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, just rub it in. So today I'm going to add another tool to that anabolic arsenal. We'll be taking one of the most delicious treats on the McDonald's menu and actually making it work for us. In this video, we'll be making an anabolic mango pineapple smoothie. Ladies and gentlemen, you may not see it from these clips, but this is hands down one of the best recipes, best tasting recipes I have ever dropped on this channel. If you've been looking to flex on your friend group in January with a shirtless photo on the gram, then look no further than this video because I promise it just might change your life. And if you got that RJF anabolic cookbook, it has been updated, man. This recipe's in there. Every other recipe I drop on this channel is in there. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you've been wanting a more sustainable diet, you want to have it broken down, the calories, the macros, the protein, every ingredient weighed out to the gram of what you need to do to succeed, then this is your playbook, man. This is all my information broken down into one guide, something that I literally use every single day. So don't play yourself, man. Man, check that link in my description and check it out. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! The only kitchen tool we need today to make magic happen is a blender. This recipe is not like my protein ice cream one, so I don't believe you're actually gonna need like a ninja, although I recommend it. She's really good at chopping stuff up. Look at all them blades in there. This thing's got blades like lowriders in Houston. All right, enough chatting, let's go. We're gonna start this off by weighing out 31 grams of a whey protein powder. As always, I got that final boss cinnamon toast swirl because it's just so good. With over 10,000 happy customers, I don't think them numbers are lying. Then on top of that, I'm just gonna weigh out three grams of a zero calorie sweetener. So we got these ready. I'm going to set them to the side, grab another bowl. And now it's time for the fruit. We're going to need a hundred grams of frozen mango along with a hundred grams of frozen pineapple. And I'm telling you right now, if you have never had anything that is mango pineapple flavored, oh Lord, I don't think you've experienced the best of what life has to offer. And I'll tell you, man, I tried this without frozen fruit, not advisable. If you want the consistency and everything to be delicious, it needs to be frozen. And the last ingredient we need, I told you this was easy, guys, is unsweetened almond milk. We need 130 grams of this, which I've already weighed out in a measuring cup. Now let's get to blending. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take my almond milk, put it down there right at the bottom. I'm not sure if the order you put these in matters, but I'm a little OCD. Follow it up with the fruit, get in there, and then the protein and sweetener. And then we can't forget the most important thing, which is about 200 grams of ice. Woo! And then all we're gonna do is blend this on high for about three minutes. You might have to scrape the sides if you want it to all be totally good. But in my experience, I haven't had to. I just blend it for three minutes and she's golden. So let's do this thing. Come on. Get a load of that, man. Just those simple ingredients, right? Fills this thing up to right here. So we get a ton of volume, protein, enough servings for the entire family. And when you figure out how many calories are actually in this and the protein, it's gonna blow your mind, man. So all I'm gonna do now is slowly spoon it into a cup. I bought these cups special just for this video because I thought they looked pretty. I bought something else too, you'll see in a second. Comment below what you think of the cup. It was the best plastic ones they had. I liked the design. All right, we'll get her nice and topped off here. And then the final Final thing left to do is you just stick a bendy straw down in there. Like Dad always said, it's all about the presentation. And boom, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Anabolic Mango Pineapple Smoothie. Not only is this thing stupid easy to make, minimal ingredients, anybody can do it, this thing is absolutely delicious. Mark my words, don't even take my word for it, man. You gotta make this one, you gotta try it. Tag me on Instagram, let me know what you think. And now before this melts, guys, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feedback, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is the type of recipe that I could literally eat every day, all day. It just tastes so good, you're gonna find out. Speaking of tasting good and finding out, I'm gonna give me a little Final Boss Aminos. Atomic Bombsicle flavor, baby, now back in stock. A Little bit of energy, a little bit of caffeine, a whole lot of gains. Mm. Now that's good. If you like this, you're gonna like this. Available at finalbossformance.com. Could RGF10 will save you 10%. She already know, man. It's a smoothie. Not much to see here. But we did add that twisty straw for some visual pizzazz. Three, two, one, let go. Seriously, I mean, this one is one of those recipes that like, as I was putting this together, I was like, all right, this recipe will be good. It'll be something to add, but I did not expect it to really be this good. This is gonna be something I probably add. It's like an everyday staple, because it's so easy to make. The cleanup's minimal, because we don't use xanthan gum or anything that really dunks up our blender, and you get a lot of it, and it's filling. So it's uh, been incredible. Hits all the nails on the head for me. And if you don't wanna use a twisty straw, man, if you're making it for the kids, right? You wanna get them involved in it. Get you one of these straws. It's got the little spoon at the end because this thing has an icy like consistency so you can just you know what I mean? Have fun with it. And being completely honest with you, you do not, and I mean do not taste protein in this whatsoever. You taste pineapple, you taste mango, you taste ice, and that's about it. But if you're trying to just get this thing down, just use spoon. Bingo baby. Mm. I'm convinced that anybody would like this. I don't think anybody would dislike this. Unless you just absolutely despise mango and pineapple. But if you've never had the two together, because I'm not really a big pineapple guy, don't even really know what a mango tastes like. But putting the two together is pretty much like a Lil Wayne and Drake collaboration. Never misses. So in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, right? Some people would disguise a recipe as being low calorie, but there's like a ton of servings in the recipe. When I give you guys recipes, unless I specifically state it, which is very, very rare, I'm giving you the whole thing because I want you to eat. I designed these recipes so you have maximum volume, more time spent eating. I'm a foodie. I want to eat as often and as much as I can, which is always the goal. So in the whole thing, not just this one cup, right? We have 255 calories, only three grams of fat, 26 grams of protein, 31 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber. So for some perspective, right? This is what we have left over. And if I'm being honest, I couldn't resist. So in between clips, I was kind of nibbing out of here. So we had more, but I left at least that much. So we get all of this volume, right? A ton. And if we compare ours to the McDonald's version, McDonald's has 340 calories, only one gram of fat, four grams of protein, 78 grams of carbs, 78. So we get more volume, more protein, less carbs, less calories. I mean, come on guys. And I guarantee, Mm. If you put them side by side, there's a good chance you probably like this one better. Real talk. And you just get so much that like, it's hard to um, find a single complaint about this. I mm. uh, just don't eat it too fast, we'll get a brain freeze. On top of everything, this recipe is stupid filling. Mm. Instead of using regular sugar, we got natural sugars. There's more fiber in there. So instead of just having all that sugar and then still being hungry, I mean, what we're filling up right now. Oh my God. Trying to finish it on camera. Mm. Ugh. Final bite. Mm, 10 out of 10, A plus, man. Anybody would like that, I don't care who it is, your granny, your kids, your sister, your mother. That girl you've been messaging 10 messages in a row and she still hasn't responded. This might finally get a reaction out of her. I need you guys to try this recipe, man. Let me know what you think. If you make this, it's stupid easy. I know you can do it. Tag me on Instagram, I love to see it. And if you're trying to get diced in December to get a head start on January, man, don't forget, RJF Anabolic Cookbook, all my diet hacks, my secrets, every recipe that I have, man, step-by-step -step instructions, Everything you need to succeed is available in a handy little guide right on your phone. Well over 100 pages. Makes this whole process extremely easy and it's something I use every day. Plus, you get it one time. You're guaranteed free updates for the life of the book. So every time I'm dropping these new videos, you see how fast I'm doing it. You go in, you get your updated copy of the book, and you're going to keep getting more recipes, more fun projects to work on, man. I'm telling you. Put a podcast on, get in that kitchen, whip something up, do your body some good, and uh, your life is going to thank you for it. Appreciate you guys, as always. Always, I am literally stuffed, so I gotta get out of here. Smash thumbs up for me, comment what you wanna see me make down below, comment anything. Helps the algorithm, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Seriously, try this, you gotta. Don't act like you're gonna, go do it.